So we've got Patrick, and what I want to do is I want to paint Patrick's colors underneath the line work that's already there. So what you need to do is add an additional layer right underneath this. With this selected, I will go up here to this arrow and say add a layer. And then I'll drag it underneath Patrick. And I will rename this layer Pat Paint. I have to import the colors that go with Patrick. Under Tools, open a reference image. So a reference image is just going to be uh, something that I can see to look at and to use for reference, but it isn't part of the regular canvas. So you can see that just appeared right there. This is a color sampler. I will dab it on there and then it creates the basic Patrick color here. Okay, color samples, new. So this way I can keep that pure color for reference. So here's the pat color and I'm using the paintbrush and I can also play with some variations. I can play with some lighter variations and mix those up. I can get some darker variations. Let's assume that they're standing on some grass. I may want to mix in some green. There's also, if the sunshine is coming in this way, I may want to I'll mix in some yellow. So this is my whole palette that I'm blobbing around. His shorts are green. Get a color sample of that green. Paint that in there because there may be some of that reflecting. I can also put that there as his pants to always keep the pure color. And the purple, keep that too. So I'll always have a, a reference. You can press the Option button to sample any color. If I go back to Pat's basic color here, I can also find it on this scale. Go for something with a little less saturation. Something that's kind of sandy looking to reflect the ground. If you have a warm light source and they have a sun there, then you're going to have a cool shadow. So I'm going to go back to Pat. I may try to pick out something that's a cooler version of this in the blue family. So that's where I'll get my whole body of colors that I'm going to use on Pat. 